we go first versus uh, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll fix that first direction the next way as soon as they get it we move on to the next thing okay so I want to while me and my horse are fresh I want to work on that hardest problem first that way I typically spend more time on it, okay all right so if we're gonna go left to right my circle my horse would be open to the left and I need to stand their shoulders up move them over and ask for that light to change okay so in other words change lead, we know that a horse lopes crooked, their hip is towards their lead, okay? So as an exaggeration, that means that if I was in a left lead, my horse is going to lope like that. His hip is going to be in towards the left. So to get him in a right lead, very obviously I need to get him to look like that, okay? And years ago, that's kind of all we worried about, was swinging that hip around to change lead. We've got a little bit smarter, and we've learned a little bit from the stock rule in getting and helping him. Okay? So what we want to do instead of just controlling that hip, is if he's loping crooked in the left lead like this, I want to prepare him by moving his shoulder first. As I move his shoulder over, now he's in the, in the frame and in the shape to take that right lead. I've prepared him for that right lead. So now when I touch him, all he's got to do is step forward with that hip and change lead. And that's all he's going to do is catch his back. We're trying to make it to where it makes sense to them. It's not so much that we're making it. We're changing the changing It's easy for them. So all we have to have, lead changes should be simple. You have to have impulsion and collection. Okay? That comes into, they get uncollected, pull their head and nose up there like this. Their back goes down. They're not going to be athletic. They're not going to want to change it. They won't want to reach forward. Okay? And a lot of times, that's our problem. They lose collection. Okay? Then we have to have shoulder control to do that preparation. We have to have hip control to make it step over and change lead. Those are your three things. If your horse can change the lead, you've got a problem. Yes. Do you start with simple lead changes? No. And, and here's why. I said that we have to have impulsion. If we are breaking a horse down to a trot, we are killing impulsion. Okay? And so that's one of those things. I don't teach simple lead changes. I don't teach them to my clients. Here's the deal. If I have a client that wants to go show them the all-around stuff and the horsemanship pattern calls for a simple lead change, they can obviously do it because they just break them down and pick up a new lead. They don't need to practice. Okay? And, th and that should all make sense to most of you. You need impulsion, which means forward motion. If you are breaking to a trot, you are killing it. Now... That's not to say that I haven't had some horses with problems that have been scared before about lead changes and stuff like that, and they rush too much. I will break them down, but I don't break them down so much as a simple lead change. I just, as they start to get frustrated, I, I back them. Okay? But if we're talking about just teaching a horse that has not learned bad habits, I never break them to a trot because I don't want to kill that impulse. And I would say mm. the horses that I've had in my lifetime that were hard lead changers, that has been the problem 100% of the time. It's easy to control their shoulders and teach them that. It's easy to control their hips. Impulsion and true collection is a hard thing. That's where the problems arise. Hmm. Okay? All right. Okay, so that, that just explains. Everybody understand how I mean about moving the shoulder over, then the hip. 